Hi everyone, so in this video I'm taking out the ZG-UD 2300B which is a little brushless troggy which features some cool colors. So let's check it out. And here it is. It is made by ZG or Zhengguang and so far I only knew them for making cheap toy grade RC cars. But this one seems different. It seems to be fast, it's brushless, it's four wheel drive and even splash proof. I mean, it says waterproof, but uh, they also tell you not to submerge it on the water. This remote control looks quite interesting. And it appears that inside we have lots of metal parts, which I like. And what appears to be oil shocks. Well, let's not wait anymore. Let's get it out of the box. As always, we will have a closer look at the car later. And check out those manuals. We have a wheelie bar, a USB charger, a 1800 milliamp hours lithium ion battery, a wrenching tool, which is unfortunately plastic, and an Allen key. The remote control has me a bit surprised. The photos made me believe I had get an actual LCD screen, but that's just a sticker. But we do get a steering trim and a throttle trim. The steering and the throttle are fully proportional, which is good. It's quite alright for one handed steering. And it takes four AA batteries. By the way, all the extra buttons on the side of the remote have no function. Alright, let's get the car out. Well, I must say it looks quite cool and I love those colors. And if you think it's a bit too neon for your taste, they of course offer different colors as well. Let's see those shocks in action. Now let's have a look at the insides. Oh, whoops, I almost nicked the cable there. I forgot about the light. By the way, I couldn't find a button to switch off the lights, but you can just, you know, unplug it. For stock tires, they actually feel quite soft and grippy. It seems like we are getting the same oil shocks as we get with the MJX Hypergoats and the recent WL toy bond models in the front and in the back. In the front we have metal CVDs and in the back we have metal dog bones. And we have a metal bar for more stability. The Deans or T connector for the battery. Here we have the 2847 brushless motor. It doesn't have a heatsink on it, but the ESC combo does. So it says the insides are splash proof, but that also means you can go through puddles and everything, but always make sure to take it apart and dry all the parts afterwards. The shock towers are made of thin metal, which I hope will not bend too quick, but at least it's shiny though. There's also a 3-wire server, which is cool for upgrades, so there it is. The battery is secured by this hinge. We also have a foam sticker to protect the battery from slapping onto the chassis when you jump. And as you might remember, we didn't get a Phillips screwdriver because we wouldn't need one, because all we need is our Allen key here. On the bottom as well, and we have this beautiful metal here, which is still shiny. And it's giving me some WL Toys vibes. The spoiler is very rubbery, but uh, might be good. Alright, remote on. And 
and the car on. Little bit of steering trim and off we go. For the price we are getting some good stuff. What I did find out though is that on a day like today where it's a bit cold we have about 10 degrees Celsius outside and the rubber on the tires is now a bit hardened which makes it a bit more difficult to control the car on road. I do have some other tires with me but that will be something for a different video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already.